Now that you've made the decision to become a professional actor, it's time to make yourself a professional actor. To do so, there are three things that you need to get started. First is gonna be a headshot. The second is gonna be a demo reel. And the third is your resume. Let's start with your headshot. Your headshot is gonna be your most important tool as an actor. Reason being is because that's where your casting journey begins. When a casting director gets hired to cast a scene, they make a breakdown of the overall project. Within that breakdown, there's something called a character breakdown, which includes the description of the characters that they're casting for. The description includes the role of the character, the character's gender, the type of role, is it a lead, supporting, co-star, ethnicity of the character, age, and some of their personality traits. From there, these breakdowns are sent out to talent agents and managers, as well as uploaded to popular casting sites. As a casting director starts to get submissions, the first thing that they look for is the headshot. They get the headshot just to do a brief scan of the actors, to see if they see anything that matches up for the character that they have to cast for. From there begins the separation process. Um, where the casting directors start to separate the good headshots are the good actors from the bad headshots are the bad actors. Um, they also begin to separate um, what they have in their mind, what they feel like would be perfect for the role or good for the role, and the ones that wouldn't be good for the role. That's why it's so important to have a headshot. That's why it's so important to have a good headshot. That's why it's so important to have the right headshot. Casting directors get tons of headshots. And I know that a lot of people just want to send out a headshot. They don't know the difference between what they should do for their theatrical or their commercial. They feel like as long as they're being seen, then they should send that out. I feel like it's more important to send out a headshot based upon whatever project that is that is being casted. So for instance, if you're going out for something, uh, military or officer, law enforcement, you maybe want to send something out that makes you have that kind of character look. I feel it's important that the headshot matches what it is that the casting director is looking for for that project. Don't just send any headshot. Make sure it's the right headshot. You want to make sure that your headshot catches the eye of that casting director with just a glance. You should click the link below to learn more about what the right headshot is. Your headshot should be role specific or close enough to fit the description of what it is the casting director is casting for. It should be able to show the casting director that you're able to take on the role in which you are submitting for. When you pick your photographer to take your headshots, um, I recommend that you take several, um, just so that you have enough in your toolkit so that you can send out the right headshot. 